Hello, good morning. I'm vlogging today and I just got to the doctor's office and I have this, uh, my sunshade that's kind of falling on the phone, but there's not much I can do. Okay, so I just got to the doctor's office. Here's a little TMI. Today I'm going to find out if I need a colonoscopy. Hooray, this is such a fun discussion to have with your doctor. It's so much fun and it's not embarrassing at all. It isn't totally mortifying going in there and doing all the things and talking about all the things to determine if a colonoscopy is necessary. I've already had some embarrassing appointments with this doctor, but that doesn't make it any easier, I don't think, um, to go again and again. So yeah. Now, of course, I'm hoping I don't need a colonoscopy. Like obviously part of me does not want to get one of these things. I've never had one before and they're embarrassing. And like, I feel like I'm too young for this. I mean, I'm sort of like starting to circle 40 now, but like still, I'm like this, we can't be having this discussion for me. I'm too young for this. Apparently not. Um, so of course, part of me does not want to have this happen. But another part of me is like, well, if I get it done and they just check things out to make sure everything in that vicinity is looking healthy, then that's not a bad thing just to check on a part of your body that doesn't normally get checked and, you know, make sure everything's okay. So for like the peace of mind, I wouldn't mind having it done, but for the sheer mortification, I very much mind having it done. Today should be the day I find out yes or no for colonoscopy. If that changes, I'll keep you posted. And that's really all the gory details I want to give on the whole situation. So that's that. Um, because I'm here early, I'm going to sit in the car and read. I have um, some pears as my part of my breakfast that I ate uh, on the way here. And then um, I'm reading this book right now. It's called The Lying Club. I started reading it last night because I was like, well, I'm going to read myself to sleep. I'm not going to use my phone and scroll and I'll definitely fall asleep faster with um from reading because that's the better way to fall asleep i did not fall asleep faster from reading and i'm probably running on not even four hours of sleep so yeah so i'm gonna sit read um finish up my breakfast got my water and then after this i'm thinking of kind of hanging out in this area before i drive home but i'm gonna see so okay anyway i'm gonna go all right, I just got done with my doctor's appointment and it was all good news. We don't think that I need a colonoscopy and I'm just going to keep tabs on the situation and uh, keep trying to avoid needing a colonoscopy. And I'm gonna leave that information there. We will just leave it there. But uh, yes, yeah, so good news today, good news. Now I'm going to go to Forever 21. Um, it's really weird though, because I know where the nearest one is, but it doesn't show up on Google Maps. So I'm hoping it didn't close and I didn't know that it closed, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna go check it out because of course I'm being influenced by Instagram ads that say Forever 21 has Hello Kitty stuff. So I have to go check it out. There is indeed the Forever 21 here. I don't know why it doesn't show up on Google Maps, but it's here, so I'm gonna head in. It's cute. So as soon as I'm done at Forever 21, I'm coming back to go into Home Goods because even just walking through, I'm like, oh my god, I have to stop and look at like 10 things. But I have to go up for Forever 21.
They have the super cute sponges. This one looks like toast. This one looks like a taco. I'm hoping this Black Friday sale that they have signs for, for everything 30% off, still applies. Cause that'd be really nice if I get 30% off anything that I buy. Hmm, okay. I've looked all around, I think. Alrighty, I'm all checked out. I got that pink sequins dress because I thought it fit pretty nicely. So that's good. I just wish they had the Hello Kitty stuff. So I had to pop into Home Goods for sure because you know they have like a zillion cute things. So I'm checking out everything. I'm gonna be here a while. Hello Kitty hot chocolate mix. Very cute. And they have like the biggest selection of good looking teas. Like they sound good, the packaging's fun. Oh no, it's mugs. Something I don't need more of. That's very cute. But you know I have to look. I have to, because I'm obsessed with mugs. They have a little bit of Disney stuff. I haven't seen a ton of Disney holiday stuff yet, but a little bit. There's Snoopy. They have some Beauty and the Beast stuff. It's hard to say no, but I don't think I'm gonna get any. This one. Here's one. Tons of cute stuff. And I mean, obviously it's cute, but it's not pink. So if things were pink, it would be a lot more tempting for me. So I've heard of this brand before, this Joanna Parker. And I've seen them online, like her stuff, and some of it's pretty cute. So I found a pink set. So Santa, I like. This guy, though, no. Like, I can't get this because he's so ugly. I'm looking for a pink tree skirt, but they're apparently not very easy to come by. I don't see any here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's later, it's um, coming up on dinner time and I'm starting to make dinner. So tonight we're having chicken soup. I'm just throwing things together. So we have chicken, um, which I had in the freezer because I buy like big packs of it from Costco. Um, celery, we had carrots. Uh, so those are going in. I have some quinoa, oops. I have some quinoa in the pantry, so I'm gonna toss some quinoa in and probably some peas. I think we have peas in the freezer, I'm gonna double check. But right now I have um, some of the veggies starting to cook on the stove. And that's what's up. Um, I talked to my mom. I had a very healthy pre-dinner snack of carrot cake. And uh, yes, I want to share the things that I got at Home Goods also. But I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer to do that until I've got dinner done. Well, Heidi Ho, hi. Yes. Yes, Mr. Love. Hello. 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 Mm-hmm. Hello, I know. You have to say hello. Mm-hmm. Look, look at mommy's socks. They kind of look like you. That's right. Are you the cutest baby? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you the cutest, cutest, cutest baby? Look, I'm gonna scratch your little butt. He wants food. His food dish is out. But he's been like eating like crazy lately, so I'm kind of worried. I don't know. Yes. Here are the veggies, the carrots and the celery and onion and some olive oil and butter. So I've got to check the directions, see what's next. I'm not sure when to add the chicken. It's not cooked yet, so I got to check.
All right, I've got all my chicken broth in and it's supposed to come up to a simmer. And then I'm gonna add the chicken, which I just have in tenders. Like I haven't even cut it up. So I hope uh, that's okay, I'll cut it later. Um, now I've got to add a bay leaf and also some thyme, which I'm just eyeballing. Okay, now something that I love, wait a minute, is this camera really all crooked? How's that? Hopefully less crooked. Um, Something I love and swear by is the Lowry's Season Salt. And I get one with less sodium. I don't even know if I've seen one that doesn't say 25% less sodium at the grocery store, but whatever, as long as it's this kind of season salt. So I'm gonna toss some of that into it. Okay, so I've got the chicken in there. Here we go. Make it carefully. There, all right, so yeah, the chicken's in. Um, our seasonings and stuff and I'm going to let this sit. I have a timer on for 25 minutes and I'm going to check the chicken in 25 minutes. You want to help share? Ooh, that lighting's funny, but I have the kitchen lights on behind me, so oh uh, yeah. Okay, so I want to share um, what I got at Marshall's slash Home Goods when I was out. Do you want to be mommy's helper? Okay, thank you little helper. So um, first thing I got were these Harry Potter hand towels. Very cute, and I've never seen these before. So you can see a sweater with an H on it. You can see Harry's glasses, head wig, a cup of cocoa, some holly. Can I tell anything else? Oh, a wand. There's a wand there. So I think I'm going to, is it one or two? No, yeah, I think it's two. Um, I think I'm gonna put these in our first floor bathroom. Then I got a gift bag. Even though it's a little bit bent, they only had them a little bit bent and I wanted it anyway. I figure I can straighten it out. But this gingerbread house gift bag is so cute. I had to get it and it's like pastel colors. And so it's got some pink on there and that's right up my alley. So we reuse gift bags as long as possible. So I know that I will reuse this, um, you know, several several times we have some really old gift bags that just have to go and it even comes with a little tissue paper which i didn't realize but <sighs> love okay so that we'll be using for christmas this year then i got a game it's called card scramble um, christmas vacation it says a game of collection and strategy so i just looked over the back at the store and i thought it sounded pretty good and that we could play it um you've invited you've been invited to celebrate christmas with uh, Griswolds, collect and match cards, and out-strategize your family members. Gather your wits as you all journey through this National Lampoon's Christmas vacation-themed game board. Who will be the first to complete their collection on the quest to celebrate the most joyous of seasons? So, we'll see. I'm not really sure exactly what it's all about, but it was $7.99, and we love board games, so I definitely had to get that. They also had an elf version, too. Uh, okay, that, that, and I got these stretchy, uh, like, food covers that I'm hoping we can use because I'm always trying to cut down on our, um, not saran wrap, but, like, the press and seal because instead of regular saran wrap, I tend to use press and seal. We just go through it kind of a lot, and I'm trying to cut down on that a little bit. So I'm going to check these out. So they're, it's not like a one size fits all thing. So like, for example, here's one. It looks like a little beret. And so you would put whatever fits in here, maybe like half of a small cantaloupe or like a big orange or something or grapefruit. So like you'd put it around the end of it. Like this picture, really. I mean, I don't, my hand's not going to do a good job. But so like they cut a pineapple in half and you put it over the pineapple, stretch it over, and then it makes a fairly tight seal, I hope. So we have some real little ones up to that size. So I hope we can make use of these. I also got two pots. So these are stainless steel. Viking is the brand. They looked pretty good. So 
so I hope this is an okay brand. Um, they each have lids and this side handle, long handle. They look nice and hopefully will be practical. I got two different sizes. And so these are going to replace, very sadly, two pink pots that I have and we use frequently, but even though they're pink, so they're beautiful and I love them for being pink, the inside has some kind of like nonstick coating and it's chipping and I don't like that. So we've had them for a while, they've been chipped for a while and I just think it's time to get rid of that because I don't think that's probably the best to keep cooking with. So instead I went for stainless steel. So I think it's gonna be healthier, but they're not pink. So it's a toss up. And other than um, that pink dress that I got, the pink, pink sequin dress from Forever 21, which I showed earlier, that was everything that I got today. Okay, Bear, I don't want you getting your hopes up. So I wanna show a little sneak peek of our Christmas tree this year. It's a new tree for us. I've never put this up before and I have to keep it covered with a blanket because the cat, I'm pretty sure, ate a piece of tape off the box the other day. So here it is. I love it. I hope I'm going to love it. I love the color. So it's a light pink Christmas tree. I think it's going to be seven feet tall. You can tell I've never put it up because it still fits very nicely in the box. And once I put up a Christmas tree, they never fit nicely in the box again. <sighs> yeah, so I think we're going to put this up on Friday of this week. So I've got to wait a few more days. I don't think it's going to be hard to put up. I imagine it's going to be totally fine. But um, I'm just very excited that it's going to be pink. Because this is my first time ever doing a pink tree as our main Christmas tree. And I hope it's not the last time. Now, little man, little man, I have to put this, see, look, it goes for the box. No, you can't eat tape. That's not good for you, goofball. This is why I have to keep things covered. Get it, get it. Come on. We want this one? I don't think he knows what he wants. Boop. Oh, boy. I do not want to get my finger caught in there when he's playing with it. Sorry, I was trying to make it faster. There. <laughs> he gets distracted. So my soup has about nine minutes left. So I'm going to read in the meantime because I want to know what happens in this book. Now, am I like crazy obsessed with this book and like totally hooked and like was it gonna be one of my favorite books ever no but am I interested to see what happens yes so um yeah The Lion Club by Annie Ward three women two bodies one big lie and I know somebody has died because they tell you right in the beginning but I don't know who or I can guess who but I'm not entirely sure who and it says two bodies, and that's only one that I know of. So it's a mystery. It's definitely like a murder mystery. I like things a little more on the lighthearted side for murder mystery books. Or I like romance books. Um, I like fantasy books. But not so much like serious murder books. And this one's a little bit more serious. But I picked it out myself at Barnes & Noble because it sounded okay. So yeah, um, I'm still going to obviously finish it. So I read a bit today waiting at the doctor's, uh, waiting for my doctor's appointment. And also PS, I would have gotten home earlier today, but the doctor didn't see me until half, yeah, half an hour after my appointment time. So that was not my fault. I was there on time. Uh, yeah. So then I read a little bit more a little while ago. So I think I'm just, just, just a few pages away from actually being halfway through. Also, this is not in a Starbucks cup anymore because I've put it in the microwave. Ooh, it's way too hot to drink. But this is my Starbucks coffee. It's leftover, but I don't care. In my super cute Grinch mug. Yeah, that's really hot. So I learned this on TikTok. I mean, I guess I could have pieced this together, but why I didn't think of this, I, I don't know. So I usually only get a few things at Starbucks. Like I like Frappuccinos. I like peppermint mochas. And I like peppermint hot chocolate. 
But P.S. Nothing there is chocolate enough for me. Anyway, I digress. So I saw this um, girl on TikTok talking about how you should redeem your star points for like regular coffee because it takes less points and then just like jazzed it up or something. Like I didn't remember exactly what she said, but I was like, okay, I never redeem 50 stars for just coffee. Like I'm always redeeming 150 for a frappuccino for either like myself or my husband or whatever. So this time I tried it. I redeemed 50 star reward point things for like regular coffee. I think it's grunt. Um, no, not grande. That's the size for like Pike place. I just try to pick like a normal medium roast. And then I added peppermint chocolate cold foam, some peppermint syrup, um, some mocha or like the chocolate sauce and I wanted heavy cream in there also. So I put heavy cream and it was free. I redeemed the 50 star points. Like, duh. Like, shouldn't I have known that? That it's just regular coffee, but you can jazz up the coffee. I don't know. I'm just not <laughs> in the know for coffee stuff, but let me tell you, like I wanted to make my own peppermint mocha or my own um, hot chocolate or whatever, basically. So I did, but then I got it with heavy cream because that tastes the best. And I got as much chocolate sauce in there as I wanted and as much peppermint in there as I wanted and the peppermint chocolate cold foam that they put on top. And I took it home and I just like ate it like whipped cream, like, cause it's like whipped cream. I just like ate it with a spoon. That cold foam, game changer. It is outrageously delicious. And I'd like to go back to Starbucks and ask them to just give me a cup full of cold foam. Like how much peppermint chocolate cold foam are they legally allowed to give me? Is what I'd like to know. Maybe that girl on TikTok said something else, like to do something else or add something else. I don't know. We had our soup. I thought it was pretty good. What'd you think, Cutie? Yeah. yeah. I have some Christmas boxes out, but we're not gonna put any more like any decorations and stuff up. So those are just waiting for now. I have to put the stuff I got today away. Um, but we are watching uh, Christmas Vacation. It's our first time watching it for the season. Who doesn't love this movie? Say, I love this movie, but everybody loves this movie. So very excited to be watching it. So I think I'm gonna head up too bad I didn't share the soup I didn't share doing dishes it's just I'm getting tired because as I mentioned earlier I did not get much sleep last night so I'm winding down and I'm gonna go read yes and I think that's it for the night the whole place is a mess I didn't put things away we have a zillion blankets out but that's because there's like a zillion of us and this is what my house looks like so you know what i like me and if i make a mess and we make a mess because we're a family then that's okay all righty i'm turning off lights and i will come back for the dishwasher i will try and vlog again soon maybe but i don't really know oh maybe in a few days because i'm going to get um disport in my forehead and lip filler in my top lip because I don't think you can tell that I've gotten filler already. It looks like I don't have any lip filler. I already have lip filler in here. It looks like nothing. So I'm gonna go get a little bit more. Hopefully you'll be able to tell I have a little filler, but yeah. So that's in a few days. Maybe I'll share that. Okay, so I thought I would throw this just in with the vlog. Um, so it's Wednesday now and I am at the my med spa that I go to for injections and I just had lip injections and um, we're worried about some bruising here. It might be a problem. I forget the, the term, but like it can, your injections and fillers and stuff can cut off um, blood supply. So we're worried about whatever's going on in this area. So I've been waiting, they checked it. I'm gonna keep waiting. We're gonna keep checking on it. So I'm just here at the med spa for a while, which is fine because I'd rather be safe than sorry. But um, my lips are like, like they've had it for today. So 
they're a little uneven under here, which we're aware of, but she said we just like can't put any more filler in. So just a little at a time. So this, we did most of it in the top, a little bit in the bottom. And this is a half, about a half a syringe. So that's that, that's where I am. And as soon as I'm out of here, either with these lips or they might be gone, we might dissolve them. Um, I'll keep you posted, but this is one of the risks of complications of getting fillers. Okay, I'm all done at the appointment. I stayed for a while extra to check on my lip. And um, so my injector and then another nurse kept tabs on it. Like she got a second opinion, which I appreciated. And they kept me there so that we could just like watch it and check for the blood refill and stuff like that. Like when you push it, does blood like refill? Um, so I'm going to look for paleness and I'm going to look for bruising that spreads like up this way and gets like veiny. Like it, it kind of looks veiny, like not just like one big solid bruise, um, but like a spreading kind of growing bruise is what I'm going to be on the lookout for. And I can't stop looking at it just to like, well, one, enjoy my bigger lips, but two, just to be sure. Yeah. So I'm going to go back in two weeks for a touch up to see how things have settled in two weeks. And I, I say probably get something, um, get a little more under here on this side. Um, Cause I can see that it's a bit uneven. That makes me crazy. That's how it looks from the side. It looks crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I look a little crazy and obviously very swollen right now. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd share this. I don't know if this is interesting for anybody, but um, this is, right after my lip injections. And since I'm gonna throw this in with the vlog I did just the other day, you can see like what I look like pre and now post. I did already have some filler in my top lip, but honest to goodness, like you could barely, barely tell. Oh, and also like I already had a touch of it too in my bottom lip, but usually my bottom lip is fine. It's really just the top. So I'm gonna look crazy and swollen for a while. And if there's any complications, I will go back in and get the filler um, dissolved that's what they do they just they'll dissolve it all and it happens it can happen from time to time so this is my first time ever experiencing a possible complication and so then I'm out of there I have a heat pack that I can put on a little like warm compress like this it feels really nice and my lips oh also my lips feel very very tight and full and like it's hard to move them they've never felt this tight ever after lip injections so yeah um on my way out of the area i stopped and got some hot chocolates so i got uh two my sister and i are going to share so i'm not going to drink those you're like one of them i'm not even gonna drink one of them yet i'm going to take them home and on my way home i'm going to stop for a cat litter refill my swollen lips and I are gonna stop for cat litter because we desperately need some, I'm all out. So I'm gonna go refill that at the pet store. Alrighty, I'm home now and the cat's meowing at me and I'm trying to get some natural light <laughs> to look at my lips. Ooh boy, look at the marks under there. Not, well, not really under, just on there. Mm -hmm. There's a mark. There's also a pimple. So just ignore the mark from the pimple down there, but that's a mark from injection. Um, yeah, they really look crazy. The more I look at them, I'm like, oh my God. It looks like I have a bunch of filler up above my lip, but I don't think I do. I think that's just the swelling. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. So thanks for hanging out with me lately in this vlog and um, I'll talk to you soon, and if I have these crazy lips in any more videos, uh, you'll know it's because I just got my injections, but hopefully they'll go down soon. So, talk to you later. Bye.